So about two years ago, we experienced some kind of weird activity here at the bar. We used to have a big, probably about, weighed about 20 pounds, a glass infusion jar that we put vodka in. And we came in one day, and it was on the ground. It had slid off the bar by itself. So around that same time, we checked the cameras just to see, you know, if somebody had pushed it off or, you know, to see what happened. And right around this area here, there were these white orbs that showed up on the camera for about a week. And they were just little balls of energy that just kind of went back and forth. And uh, we thought that was weird. And that's about it. So another time, Greg and I were here late night, about 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. kind of like right now when we had finished everything, we're about to leave. Quiet. Everyone was gone except for us and one other person. We were standing right there, and we heard this loud crash. Yeah. Sounded like somebody dropped a bus tub or some dishes. Right. And there was nobody here. Because, you know, there, there are sounds as an old building, so like, you yeah. know, we, we've heard stuff that sounds like it's an old building. Then there's times where it sounds like this does not make sense. <laughs> like, yeah, and we all look at each other like, crashes, did you hear that? Did or you hear that? doors slamming or things where you're like, what? Yeah. And then we all heard what sounded like the bathroom door closed, which is a very distinct sound. Yeah, it is. And, and um, <laughs> what else? We got freaked out. <laughs> yeah. But, um, another thing that happened, uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened here, but like, I think you, I don't know if you were working, but like, uh, everybody left, and it was me, I guess, whoever was closing, and uh, the, the wait and the server. And um, when we left, I think it was me and Dave and maybe Amanda, there were toothpicks all over the steps, and nobody, because everyone who left, because when people left, I saw, I looked over there, and there were no toothpicks everywhere, but then when, like, the dishwasher left, you know, he wouldn't just pick up toothpicks and throw them everywhere. But they were just everywhere, and I was just like, what is this? You know, like... Why are there toothpicks everywhere? Like literally all out of the, like the glass, and I'm just like, uh. <laughs> so it's pretty weird. Um, besides that, I mean, what else is there? Um, just creepy feelings. Yeah. Well, Matt. Matt saw that guy down in the basement. He saw a guy. Yeah, which was Who's that? Uh, he's a guy manager, bartender. Can he work? He's not here tonight. He's not. No. But it was it was the night before Halloween of all. Faithful nights. I was working, and he he comes out of the office. He was getting something in the middle of shift, and he sees a guy walking down our hallway, like to the where the elevator is, where you saw in the basement. And he whips around, and nobody's there. He didn't see him. He didn't see the elevator door open, the bathroom door open, nothing. Just nobody was there. He's just like, and he's, I think he said he saw a guy he's never seen before. So. <laughs> Throughout the investigation in the former bank manager's office. The camera kept shutting off with a full battery. This wasn't the only area where paranormal entities were drowning batteries, and this was an ongoing occurrence. EVP Electronic Voice Phenomena. Can you not cross over? Do you like Glasgow? Are you the one that doesn't like Chad? This one was hard to tell, so let's play it back again in slow motion. Something really doesn't like Chad. You like Chad? And it was really slow here. So, I think I went upstairs. It was pretty dead, so I took a break to go to the bathroom. And I was in the very last stall, which was the handicapped stall. And uh, so I was just doing my thing. And then, um, from the bottom of the stall, our walls are kind of long, so there's only like a little slit. 
and I just saw like a woman's foot, like it was like a pair, like a loafer that just like swiped into my stall. So just looked at it, and I was like, whoa, that was weird. And then um, I thought somebody maybe came in or whatever. And then once I walked out, the stall next to me, the door was open, and I remember that I didn't hear anyone come in or go out or anything. So that was pretty freaky. Was it like a casual loafer, or was it not like a casual like business loafer? It was. I don't know. I remember that it was black, and um, like I saw like the top of the foot, which was like white. It was. It was like mostly covered, but then it just like kind of like swept underneath. <laughs> and, then, and then I also thought, oh, maybe it was a mouse, but then it didn't make any sense because, like, also like the movement was. So you got like up this. and looked. Huh? Oh, into the stall now. <laughs> I just uh, got freaked out and just left my. after I washed my hands. Of but the other stall door was open. Yeah. Nobody was in there. Creepy. Selkie didn't want to be recorded on camera. But multiple employees report similar stories. One of the most popular is the shadow figure seen in the basement. So if there's anyone that is here with us now, if you could just tell us your name. And once again, camera failure. The Alewife Bar and Restaurant currently occupies a historic building, once an 1800s bank. Although there isn't much banking happening here today, it's apparent that the current employees aren't the only ones working. I feel that although the spirits aren't happy with the current operation, they respect how much effort has been put into preserving its history. Without a doubt, the alewife is haunted. Ooh.